Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to wash your Trek Marlin 5. Washing your bike is one of the best steps you can take in maintaining your bike. And with that, let's get right into it. Now I want to tell you a little bit about the products that I use. My first product recommendations would of course be cleaners. On the left you can see Muck Off, which is a specialized bike cleaner, and on the right you can see Simple Green. Simple Green is an all-purpose cleaner, while Muck Off is designed for bikes. I haven't noticed any problems with either of them, so I'd recommend both of them for you guys. The next products that I would recommend you guys use are an assortment of towels. Now you can use each towel for different purposes. For example, I use this gray microfiber towel for cleaning off my disc brakes. The next recommended product is wet and dry lube, depending on the climate that you live in. If you bike in rainy conditions, you'll definitely want to use wet lube. Now on the other hand, if you bike in drier conditions, you'll use dry lube. We have both dry and wet lube because we live in a climate where it can be super dry, super hot one day, and then rain the next. The next product I'd recommend is this Park Tool Cyclone Chain Scrubber. Now, this is for cleaning off your chain. It makes it a lot faster, but there is an alternative way that works just as well. The alternative method for cleaning your cassette as well as your chain is to use a toothbrush and a brush. The toothbrush you can use on your chain, while the brush you can use on your cassette. The next product that I use is just some plain old rubbing alcohol. This can be used for cleaning off your disc brakes. Now that you guys know all the products that I would recommend, let's go clean the bike. Whenever I clean my bike, I like to put it up against a tree. So we're just gonna start off by giving the bike a quick hose down. Um, when you're giving a hose down, make sure not to use a hose that has too high of a pressure, as you may end up scratching your frame or possibly getting water in your bearings. We're basically just looking to go over everything on your bike, trying to get all of the dirt and whatnot off of it. So once you've completely rinsed off your bike, you're going to want to take out your bike cleaner. Now I'm going to be using Muck Off, but as I said earlier, Simple Green works just as well. If you are using Simple Green, be sure to stay away from your disc brakes. If you touch your disc brakes with Simple Green, then it can end up hurting them. However, the Muck Off is safe for disc brakes. Alright guys, so I have the bike covered in my bike cleaner. You're just going to want to let it sit for a little bit. And when you are using your bike cleaner, make sure you get everywhere. That means your chain, of course, also. But we've waited a couple minutes and the muck off has had time to do its job. So now we're just gonna spray all of the muck off off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my bike off with my microfiber towel. Now that we've got everything dried off, I'm gonna flip the bike upside down and we're gonna go ahead and clean off the wheels. So I have my hose at like a really, really low setting and it's just basically going to be the same process as when you were washing your entire bike. From here, we're just going to apply our bike cleaner like we did before. I'm going to put it all over my wheel as well as my rim. I basically just finished rinsing it off after I put my muck off on there. So now what we're going to do, just pull out a towel and we're going to go ahead and just dry it off. Make it nice and clean. So now we're going to move on to the chain as well as our cassette. For this, um, cleaning the chain as well as the cassette, I'm going to use the Park Tool Cyclone. Um, they say that you can reuse this stuff. This stuff is supposed to be clear and it doesn't look very clear right now. So, I 
think I'm just going to use whatever is left in here. And I don't know. It, didn't, it said that it would separate and I could reuse it. But I'm not quite sure if that's true. The way we're going to want to put this on, we're going to start off by unhinging these clips. And now, I believe we're going to put it on right here. We can just stick this thing back on. Clip it back on. And now what we're going to do, we're going to run it through there. So, we'll just go like this. Uh, we'll do a couple of rotations of this, and it should come out clean. Going to go ahead and scrub our cassette. Machine. Now what I'm going to go and do, I'm going to fill this thing with soap and water, and we're going to go ahead and run that back through the train. I got the Cyclone filled with soapy water. Just put it at the fill line, I believe, and we're just going to put this thing on and wash off the chain. You're going to want to follow the same process as you did before. Basically just use the soapy water, put it in the cyclone thing, and just strap it on like you had it before. Now that our chain is all clean, we're going to need to reapply some lube. I'm going to be using dry lube as it is the middle of the summer. Alright, when applying this, I'm going to go ahead and try and find the master link. That, of course, looks something like, let's see if I can't find it, this. So, right here we have the master link. We're going to start here and just work our way all around. Make sure you get everywhere until you come back to the master link. Once you've got all the way around, let's just make sure we wipe it off with a towel. Go all around there. We don't want any excess dry lube um, messing up any of your shifting and stuff like that. That's happened to me a couple of times. So just go all around to make sure there's no excess. Whenever I wash um, my disc brakes, um, I always use this particular gray microfiber uh, towel just to keep it separated from the others and so I'm not using harmful grease on my disc brakes. I start by putting some alcohol in the microfiber towel. So now that I have my microfiber uh, towel with um, alcohol on it, we're just going to go over the disc brakes kind of like this until you've gone all the way around. So the reason we're doing this is to keep your disc brakes in good working condition. Now make sure you never touch your disc brakes as the oils on your hands can damage them. The way you're going to want to clean your suspension is to first put your cleaner right close to your stanchion so that you don't have to worry about any overspray. Then you can spray it on, but be careful not to get your disc brakes with the simple green. If you do, that can be quite harmful to them. Once you've done that, compress your suspension by holding on to your front brake and pushing down. Do this multiple times and you'll see dirt coming out most likely. Once you see the dirt coming out, grab a towel and wipe it off. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something. I'm by no means a professional mountain bike mechanic. I don't know too much about biking, but I do hope that I was able to help. And if I did something wrong, please make sure that you leave it in the comment section below so I know what to do next time. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to, to like, share, and subscribe. She get wet. She get all wet, Ruthie? She played a hole in the hose? Yes, yes she did.